Welcome to my channel. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. And uh, today I just want to encourage you not to give up. This video you are seeing here, ironically, I did it for five good times. The first one, there was no sound. I had to work on the, like, check the microphone, why sound was not there. I mean, I uploaded it. I had to do it again. I did it. And uh, like a lot of issues. I had to do it like five different times. And I believe this is the final one. And I want you to know your life should be like that. If you want to do something, failures will come, but don't give up. So today, what are we talking about? We are going to talk about five KDP, Q4 niches. That's the second part. That's the part two of this. And why KDP quarter four? So if you are looking for a side hustle, you want to start a business, you want to start some passive income, KDP publishing is one of the best ways that you can actually track own a product uh, like a book a book ebook or look but this time we're talking about low content and no content books so when you talk about low content and low content books these are planners notebook journals coloring books you can see this type of books these are the type of books i'm talking about so we are going to talk about the niches because quarter four which has a lot of holidays christmas halloween and all those holidays coming people will buy more books and that's why we are doing this. So let's go straight to uh, the niches. And uh, once we go to the niches, you get to see what I'm talking about. So the first niche we are going to talk about is the Christmas coloring book niches. So you can see I have a AMZ suggestion expander because people search on the books here. So why don't you use here to do your research? So I have AMZ Suggestion Expander, which gives me the liberty to see things like this. So you can see Christmas coloring book. On a normal circumstance, you only see this on Amazon, but you may not be able to see all these extensions. The AMZ Suggestion Expander will give you the leverage to see all of them. So Christmas coloring book for adults, coloring book, Christmas coloring book for kids. So these are all potential keywords and niches that you can target. So let's click on the first one. So the first ones are like sponsored. You can see sponsored. People are wild. They want to make sales. And they're actually making sales because when you look at all their ratings, you know why they are on top sponsored. So let's look at this. These are the normal ones. And they've also made sales. So you can see spiral bound people back. And uh, I'm just going to go down here yeah, and waiting for this to load. So this is like a Helium 10. It gives you this. It gives you sales over time. And with this one, all time, you go to all time, you see. So this one, like you can see, this is like during Christmas periods, New Year and all those things. So you can see the sales will rise during that time. Simply means that these books are meant to be sold or they sell more during Christmas or quarter four. Uh, quarter, uh, the fourth quarter so and that's why you need to target this and you can get a book uh, uh, you can get the interior on creative fabrica to buy or you can even go and design your own interiors so that's the first niche the second niche we are going to talk about today is is the christmas also in the christmas niche but it's christmas gift notebook so christmas gift notebook so you can see you have like this one so christmas notebook collection so this is just like normal christmas but it has just a notebook let's see the inside but it has christmas themed you can see so this is even is kind of like a sketch type of book but it has like christmas theme and that's the only difference it has like christmas theme uh, like interior no, it has like Christmas theme cover and it has the normal notebooks that we publish. So if you're already into the KDP, low content publishing, you should have books in the notebook category. And you just use the same interior, go to Creative Fabrica, buy an image or go to Pixabay, get a free image and use Canva to design your cover. And you can be able to do it. So that's the second niche, the third niche. And I'll be sharing with you how I do my how I do my distant uh, keyword researches. Don't do a go and do 
confuse yourself. So the third niche is Halloween notebooks. So the first in the first part of this, I talked about Halloween. Uh, I talked about Halloween this the uh, coloring, but this one I'm talking about Halloween notebooks. So it's just like the same notebooks, but you make sure that uh, hello is Halloween themed for you, where you can just like uh, use Halloween images and to put them in the notebook. So these are like the same. So if I click on this, you see the same composition notebook that you have, but the difference now is that it has Halloween themed this thing so you can see it's just like this the interior and uh, you just can have this and you publish and so during christmas they sell because halloween people are searching for halloween and uh, it's good to have books in that category so the fourth one we will talk about today is teacher gifts so the teacher in the teacher uh, niche so why teacher niche Teacher gifts. Teacher gifts will t give you the opportunity. I can see teacher gifts. So whether teacher planner, whether teacher kindergarten teacher notebook, you see people want to buy books for their teachers because it's holidays. They want to appreciate their teachers for how they've taken them. And you can see this one. Thank you, teacher. Uh, teacher from the very hungry caterpillar. So this is a book. Now you look at, and most of you will be asking, oh, why am I not doing like uh, showing you numbers? I don't, I'm not a fan of numbers. You can see, but the only numbers I can show is that you can see the sales. And when, once you get into it, you see that uh, this book survived only one Christmas, right? <laughs> and you can see this was it. And um, this was sales. And within this period, this book has stopped selling. It has stopped selling. <coughs> And it's going to spike up during Christmas. And that's why you need to publish in these niches. So it's just like the same niches that we know. And uh, you just have to be strategic. This one. The same niches. They just have to be strategic. And uh, this is thank you, teacher from the very hungry caterpillar. So that's thank you images and stuff so you buy like kind of images this thing so teacher niche is important for you if you want to publish and also the last one for this series today is the christmas planner i've published a lot of books and uh, last year i decided to do christmas planners and i can tell you that a lot of people are not publishing in this and these are just like simple planners that people who used to plan their Christmas. So Christmas planner. And uh, I was having like a like daily planner. I just <laughs> redesigned it to fit the Christmas planner. You can see like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But you can buy this on Creative Fabrica. You can buy this on Creative Fabrica. You can see and there are like a lot of spaces and stuff. So Christmas planner is also another uh, kind of book that you can uh, niche that you can look at so and you can see so some almost also like you can see the sales trajectory at one point it goes up and comes down waiting for christmas so this is also another way that you can do more so i just think these are all the niches i have for you today but then let's look at how to do the keywords so if i want to do keywords i use the interface and if you need to have this AMZ suggestion expander, this one to be able to help you do that. So if I type in, let's say notebook, it's going to give me different categories, different things. People are typing notebook, notebook paper, notebook college rule, notebook for school. So these are like without even going to anywhere, I can use these keywords and I can rank on top. Only these keywords, right? I can use because people are searching for this. People who search for notebooks are just typing this, and you can just see all what they are typing, and you can pick that and help yourself out. Then the second one is uh, I always use uh, Sona. So when you go to uh, just go to Google, type Sona keyword, and it's going to give you this. The interface is like this. So if I type in notebook, 
I just want to validate to see what people are searching. It gives you the opportunity to know what people are searching on Amazon. So once you go, they have a lot of they will give you a lot of results. Sometimes thirty two thousand five hundred and thirty six. How am I going to use all this? But you can download the list. But then the important part is all the relevant keywords, frequent use words are here on the left side. You can frequent words. So you can see ruled, spiral notebook, college rule, why rule, composition notebook, knowledge college, journal notebook. So these are all potential keywords that you just pick and add it to whatever you find on a cre uh, uh, Amazon interface. And you use that. And once you are publishing, just publish with the intention that sometimes we look at what has already been bought. And we keep on saying, okay, uh, let's do keyword researches. This is what people are typing in to look for it. But is it a possibility that people will change their way, the, the way that they type? Is there a new trend that is coming that people are not even buying it now, but they can buy it in the near future? This can help you. Because before Corona, we didn't know that some things were, where people will search for some things. But after Corona, we saw that people are actually looking for some things. So sometimes, yes, do books of your researches, do all the researches, but then also use your intuition. To what will people always also look for? If I'm able to market this, will people buy it? So based on your marketing strength, you can do books and market them to people to buy. And the more they keep buying, you're also leaving a legacy on Amazon. And people will specifically look for the type of books that you are selling to buy. Maybe there's a book that you have in your mind, low content book. Just to register, maybe uh, mosquito bites, right? Mosquito bites. And once you, once you check on Amazon, you may not see that particular book. And you have invented that book, mosquito But When mosquito bites you, you go and take. So you put it on Amazon and you start marketing it on your social media on your like because of your audience. Definitely you'll be able to make a mark. So that, and that's why I don't give relevance too much to go into Helium 10, go into whatever to do different type of keywords and then at the end of the day you confuse yourself. Just make it simple. Use these simple tools and market your your books and your brand. So I will do how to market locally, organically. And you will see how to uh, market your books organically. Thank you very much. My name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. And I hope this video, the voice is there because this is the fifth time. And uh, all the times it didn't work. This time I know it's going to work. And that should be the thumbprint to your life. Never ever give up. If there's value in this video, especially of how I suffered, please like and subscribe or share. Or even send me a message and say thank you. I'll be I'll appreciate. Thank you very much. Let's do this again.